fashioning is about taking old, unwanted pieces of clothing and giving them a new life. It's about pulling those shirts from the back of your closet that you never wear, or those $5 dresses hanging on the thrift store rack, and transforming them with a pair of scissors, a sewing machine, and an open mind. My name is Callie, and I'm on a mission to create the ultimate upcycled wardrobe, one project at a time. Hey people! I found this denim dress at the thrift store for like $4 and I had to get it because I love denim, but obviously I would not wear it how it is. It's just oversized and not really flattering. So today we're going to transform it into something super cute, super simple, something that I can throw on for date night, for running errands, for girls night, whatever. Just super simple summer staple for my wardrobe. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm just cutting out the placket down the front. So that's the part where the buttons and the buttonholes meet. I'm just taking that part off the dress completely. And then next, I'm just removing the sleeves. Um, I'm going to use these sleeves again, but I'm going to change the armhole, take it in a little bit because the shoulders on the original dress didn't fall in the right spot. So then this last thing I'm doing is I'm also removing the collar. Okay, so at this point I'm trying on the dress and I'm trying it on backwards. So um, the back is completely open where I took out that placket and I just put a pin where I want the hem of the dress to be, how long I want it to be. And then I'll throw it on the ground and I'm just cutting off the excess bottom to bring it to the length that I want. And if you hear a squealing baby in the background, that's just my little guy. He's trying to add some commentary to the video. <laughs> okay, the next thing I did is I wanted to add darts um, where, in the bust area because it just kind of, there was some gaping um, around the armhole near the bust. So the way I'm doing that is that hole you see is my armhole and I'm just um, picking up kind of like a triangle of fabric, ironing it both ways, then I'm laying it flat and I used just a piece of Taylor's chalk to mark the line I wanted, pinned it in place, and then I'm sewing it. Um, I know that was a super fast explanation, but if you need more help on darts, I'll leave a link to a helpful video below. Okay, what I'm doing here is I just removed a little bit more fabric um, where the sleeves are going to attach. The shoulder was just too wide. It came out too far on me, so I'm just removing some of that fabric. Next, I'm going to be putting a zipper in and finishing up the back of the dress, which was previously the front. So I'm just putting right sides together and pinning down the whole um, back of my dress. So just connecting those two edges. These are the two edges that I removed the placket, the buttons from. And once I have the whole back pinned together, I'm going to go in and place um, three pins right in a row where I want um, my zipper to end. So I'm only going to sew down from the bottom of where I'm going to put my zipper in to the bottom, if that makes sense. Okay, so now you'll see the top of the back of the dress is still open. This is where I'm going to put my zipper. So I'm just using that um, the fabric and going based off of the seam I just sewed and I'm going to continue folding those edges over um, up to the top of the back of the dress and ironing those flat. So it's just the same line as where I'm pressing my seams from the part that I did sew. So I'm now I'm just grabbing my zipper and I'm lining it up with that opening to see how, how long I need the zipper to be and I'm just cutting off the excess. Now I'm tucking my zipper inside. The dress is now right side out tucking that zipper in to the bottom of that seam and just kind of laying it out flat. Then I'm putting a pin in the bottom of the zipper, just tucking it under where that opening starts and I'm going to unzip my zipper and then go one side at a time lining up that folded over edge very closely to the teeth of the zipper and then I'm just pinning that down all the way up to the top. And once I finish one side, I'll go back and do the other side as well. And this is just the easiest way I've found to do a zipper. Zippers can be tricky, but this is a pretty fail-proof way 
to do it. You just have to make sure that your zipper and your fabric are totally laying flat, that there's not any bunching, so that you don't get a pucker after you sew it down. And then I'm just taking it to the sewing machine and sewing along that edge, um, right up close to the teeth of the zipper, but being careful not to catch the zipper in my needle because that can break your needle on your sewing machine. And trust me, that's happened several times before to me. Okay, now I'm gonna work on finishing my neckline. So I just tucked a piece of my excess fabric inside the neckline and I'm taking a piece of Taylor's chalk and tracing that curve. Then I'm cutting out that curve with my scissors and just creating um, a curved piece about two inches wide. And I'm doing this for the front and then I'll repeat it with the back and sew those two pieces together so that I have a circle. And then I'm taking that circle lining and I'm pinning it around my neckline, pulling it tight as I go. This will help the neckline lay flat. And I'm pinning it right sides together just around the entire neckline. And when I get to the back, I just chopped it in half um, to um, compensate for the zipper. And then I take it over to my sheen, machine and sew that together, just with like a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, now I'm throwing my dress onto my ironing board inside out, and I'm folding that neckline lining over to the wrong side of the fabric and ironing it, pinning it, and then I'm taking it back to the sewing machine, right side out, and top stitching that neckline down. Okay, next I'm going to reattach my sleeves. So I'm just taking my sleeve piece from before and reattaching it around my new armholes that I adjusted a little bit with a dart and um, removing some excess fabric. So I just pin it around the entire sleeve I'm using that curved side, right sides together, down to the armpit, um, and then pin those, the bottom of the sleeve together, and then take it back to the machine, and I'm just sewing that sleeve onto my armhole. Now I'm going to cut out some pockets. I love adding pockets to dresses, especially dresses with a simple silhouette. Um, I feel like it really adds some interest and some detail that's super fun, and I just love pockets for practical use. Great place to put your hands, store stuff, especially snacks. Let's be real. So once I have my pockets cut, I'm just tucking under those raw edges and pinning them in place. Um, with fabric that's more resistant to ironing, I like to just put it on the ironing board and put my pins right into it while it cools. Then I'm going to put my pockets onto my dress. I just tried on the dress and kind of eyeballed where I wanted my pockets to sit and then took it back off and just pinned my pockets in place. Once I have those all pinned in place, take it back to the sewing machine and just top stitch those down. And another tip for when you're sewing with denim, make sure you get that um, gold colored thread. That really makes a difference in making your clothes not look homemade, making them look legit. And lastly, I decided it would be fun to have a frayed edge at the hem of the dress. So I just sewed about a quarter inch away from the hem and then I threw my dress into the washing machine to accelerate the fray at the bottom. This is one of the best ways to distress denim is to start the hole or start the tear or whatever but then let the washing machine and the dryer do the rest. Okay, we're all done. Let's look at the final transformation.